want to talk to you about how the Cubs data gets loaded every weekend. In the web utils under the system add menu 2, admin menu 2 is the update Cubs from export file. Okay, uh, The format of that export file is listed right here and it must be in this order. There's a lot of fields. Um, if it's out of whack or something's unusual about it one way or the other, uh, it will not get read in. Um, click the uh, paper clip and go find the file and I'll show you where the file is in a minute. And click update cups. It takes a while. So just leave it go. It probably takes uh, three to f two or three hours for it to go in. And when it's completed, it's going to start doing the remote sync and then creating packets, and there's quite a few, and get sent over to the other redundant server. Again, if you have an issue one way or another with uploading the file, <laughs> sometimes you actually have to bring down the system and bring it all back up, which is covered in the restart video, and uh, tells you how to do that. Um, it's just because it takes so long, sometimes things time out and get stuck in situation. Um, hasn't happened in a long time, but once in a while that might occur just because of the length of time. Um, that's all there is to this. In the utilities menu, there is the cross-reference editor. And in here is the um, this is how you maintain these files. Now when that file gets read in, if the rep has put a client ID in the client ID field in the company view, then as it's reading in, it will pick up that information and update this stuff automatically. All you have to do is run the imp import of the Cubs file. That's all that's required. It's updating all of this. It's updating all the extra files. It's doing four or five different things that used to be all separate tasks, but it's all one now. So where does this all look at? Um, it ends up in here uh, that you can see. There's this client ID editor, and I just brought up this one company that's a GBU client. And uh, this allows you to maintain stuff. So for some reason, something got read in incorrectly or somebody entered that client ID wrong and it's on the wrong account. You can select it here, click delete, and it will take it out of all of the different files and put it where and, and make things right and won't read it in anymore. But somebody definitely needs to fix the client ID here if it's incorrect. What does it look like for the reps? That's in here. This is the single record. Uh, these are the details. Here's the totals. And if there's more than one record, if you click, click aggregate totals, it'll show you the, the, the total. So what does this look like in the databases itself? Uh, this is covered in a separate video. This is the Explorer called DB Explorer. And there's a number of different files in here. Uh, for one, there's this one here called BioRef, which we just looked at, which is the relationships between the two. Uh, there's relationships and fields in here, so if you just start going off and deleting things and fooling around with things in here um, without knowing what else will be affected, you could essentially make a mess, so be real careful with all of that. Um, it's best just to take a look and see what the data is and see what the problem is. There's also this file, which is the one where the individual records are. And um, uh, last thing is the Cubs file gets loaded up on a Friday night. It is a tab delimited .txt file. It is converted to a CSV and then it's read in. But that's the Cubs system.